Hi, my name is Shonda. Today I'm going to talk about my camera, the 550D from Canon. So, this camera I bought in 2010 in October. Today is actually 2012 in September. So, this puppy I used it for roughly almost two years. So, it's actually starting to show a lot of wear and tear. So, basically, the rubber now really really annoyingly is uh, falling off especially here I'm missing a part it, that one uh, fell somewhere I'm not really sure where and the back one also is starting to peel um, the other issues I've got is sometimes the monitor starts to flicker a bit I see like scan lines but I'm not sure if it's really the monitor itself or if it's the lighting situation at certain places but it was slightly daylight and uh, with like tungsten lighting so I'm not sure if it was the tungsten lighting that was causing it um, yeah the rest is uh, it's quite a nice camera I filmed a lot of terabytes I filled a lot of hard drives with footage I'm just not sure how many hours I literally filmed with a lot of corporate videos a lot of things I shot a lot of events and photos I do know how many about roughly uh, that's around 25,000 pictures with this uh, including also time-lapse events photos uh, few portrait shots few fashion stuff and yeah however this puppy is dying on me because yeah I've used it to the maximum because I have many people have their camera looking so horrible like this at the moment. Uh, I've used it like crazy daily and in and out uh, filming a lot, overheating it like crazy also, especially in this hot weather in Hong Kong. Um, yeah, hopefully be replacing this one very 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 soon with a Canon XA10. Hopefully I'll get that one pretty soon to replace this one and still be using this one until it dies. Um, basically having a two camera setup uh, if possible because with XA10 the thing is I can film longer with it while with this camera the annoying thing is it has like limitations the half hour however the actual limitation with this right now is the 4 gigabyte limit unless I use magic lantern to lower the bit rate however that lessens the video quality and I rather enhance it so basically um, I rather go for a professional camera that can film for hours and doesn't overheat because the thing is why this overheat is because the battery is on the inside well professional cameras have them on the outside so they can cool down better and yeah, also only biggest issue with the XA10 is it doesn't have the desktop field with the nice lenses compared to the DSLRs. However, with good filming, editing and knowing how to film, what kind of style you use, you can improve on that. And basically make the footage look okay and also look professional. So instead of using DSLRs all the time. And with like more relaxing jobs instead of having to film like for hours I could film like double camera setup making some of the videos look better having two shots uh, hopefully yeah after the XA10 I'll probably save up money for trying to get a full frame hopefully Canon comes out with the rumor of the 6D a cheaper full frame if not I'll probably save a lot of money for the 5D Mark III and yeah, basically I'll try to never go back to the entry level again uh, unless I want to have like several more cameras with uh, less money. Uh, however, yeah, that was mainly it. Hopefully this puppy don't die on me soon and because I still have a lot of things to shoot. And um, yeah, that was mainly it. Uh, hopefully you guys find this video interesting and I hopefully you subscribe below comment if you have any questions uh, check out my page for all my other videos about filming and like
cool tutorials and stuff. And hope to see you guys the next time. So, see ya. Bye bye.